Hey everyone, what's up? It's Audra and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I figured since we're on tour currently right now with Sounds of Animals Fighting, I would tell you all of my tour essentials. So let's get into it. First up, my holy grail, my pride and joy of tour is this. It is the VIX um, like steamer, like vocal steamer. And basically what it does is it like, it? you fill it up with water, so this twist off, fill it up with water and steam comes out of here. You put it on your face like Darth Vader and it basically rehydrates your like nasal passage and your throat and your sinuses and your, you know, all of the things. And it basically just adds that like hydration back into your voice and like your face when you know you're on the road and you're traveling so much and you're staying in hotels and you're not sleeping and you know you've got air conditioning blowing in your face in the car your voice and your throat and your face and everything just tends to dry out and that basically just takes all of that that dryness and just rehydrates it and it saves my life i will do that like three times a day if I'm like really feeling it on tour. Um, but most of the time I just do it like once when we get back to the hotel at night or like when we get to the venue or something and it is a lifesaver. Okay, number two, I actually know I've talked about this one before because I talk about how much I hate it, but it does save my life on tour and that is throat coat. So it's the worst tea ever in the world. If you like it, you're lying. Um, I get the lemon echinacea kind because it tastes just slightly better than the original. Um, and I always carry this with me because no matter how much I hate it, this has brought my voice back to life more times than I can even count. Um, this is the, if you're a singer or if you, even if you just get sore throats often, if you talk a lot at your job or if you like have a sore throat, like this will literally save your life. The back of it says, Herbal power supports throat health and boosts the immune system. And it seriously is like the best thing to have. I keep a box, I have two boxes right now. This is always on hand, always for me. Like if it is not easily like reachable in my bag, there's something wrong. Like that's when you know, there's something wrong with me, somebody needs help. But this is such a lifesaver, such a lifesaver. I recommend drinking with honey though because it just makes it taste like the tiniest bit better. Number three on my list of things that you need to have is sunglasses because listen, that's such a weird thing that I'm on a list, I feel like, but every single time we're on tour, like the first two tours or something, I forgot my sunglasses and I was like, I didn't think I was gonna need them because it gets cold here when we leave, but then we go to like California and I'm like, mm, it is sunny and hot. So those are like something that I always bring on tour with me, essentials. Because even in like the middle of winter, it was like bright and sunny. And I was like, I literally can't see and I don't have my sunglasses. So that was like a big, big, big one for me, sunglasses. But I've talked about that before. My eyes are such a mess. Not even like, I don't even, I don't need glasses, but I don't need anything. Like I have really good eyesight, but my eyes get like irritated so easily. Like I will literally be laying at the dentist in like the dentist chair and the light shining on my eyes, my eyes are watering. Like I need sunglasses all the time. Number four is this little beauty right here. This is my Bucky's lanyard. And what I do with this is I keep my tour pass on it. So when you're on a tour, um, everybody in the touring party, your touring party gets a, uh, a lanyard and like a little laminated pass. That is like the, you were on the tour party, you're allowed into the venue, you're allowed into like restricted areas, blah, blah, blah. Um, and sometimes they give you a lanyard with it and sometimes they don't, but I bought this little beauty on the set it off tour and it will now forever be coming with me everywhere I go. And I keep my tour pass on it and I have it around my neck at all times. And everybody's jealous because they love Bucky's. If you're a touring band, you know this. Bucky's is the holy grail. It is the best place ever in the world. And then next to that is like sheets. But Sam also has one of these too. He has like the fancy one though that has like the pull tab, like the stretchy one. But I just have like the classic with the hook Bucky's lanyard. 
Last but not least, the last thing that you want to have on tour, for me especially, is all of the other bands' hoodies. <laughs> because for me, I always pack less hoodies than I need, and then I end up taking hoodies from every single band on tour. So I have a Send It Off hoodie, I have, um, I actually took an Oxymoron shirt though, because I really like their shirts. I have a Point North long sleeve, I have a Sharia Moore hoodie, I have um, a Little Lotus hoodie, I have a Home Team shirt, um, yeah, I have all the, I have all the, the things. I have a Rain City Drive shirt, um, is that everyone? Yeah, I think so. Anyways, I have everybody's merch. And obviously, like, when you get their merch, you give them your merch, too. It's like a little trade-off. I actually have Concrete Castle's hoodie, too. But, like, that's just a necessity on tour because I literally will pack light. Because I know that by the end of the tour, I'm going to have, like, six more items of clothing from all of the other band's merch and from, like, my own merch. Because we don't get any of our tour merch before the tour. So we see our, our merch the same time that you guys see our merch if you come see us on tour. So other bands merchandise <laughs> is an essential and whenever I go on a tour after that I just bring those so like when we go on this tour that we're on right now I'll probably have this hoodie I love my old Concord Castles hoodie I'll have my Little Lotus hoodie I'll have my Sharia Moore hoodie like I'll just have all of that stuff because it's so easy and I know that I'll wear it because I wore it on tours before this so those are my top five tour essentials right now off the top of my head um but that's for me personally, everybody's different when they go on tour, but those are like some things that I need to have with me when I go. Obviously there's like other, like you need like a phone charger and blah, blah, blah. But I was like, I don't know. I want it to be a little more interesting. So these are like my like niche tour essentials. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you subscribe, like, and leave a comment below which one of these was your favorite that I bring with me on tour. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you don't miss an upload every Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bye! See you next week!